But we turn now to our partnership with George Washington University's Planet Forward, a group that seeks out innovative ideas in the areas of energy and sustainability. The natural gas boom is changing our energy future, but many activists are concerned about what it does to water quality. Planet Forward's Frank Cessno talks to us about a solution. It's called fracking flowback, the water mix that helps unearth all that newfound gas. It comes back out as a dangerous brew of bacteria and other pollutants, and the last thing you want leaking into your water table. But one company, started by researchers at the University of Wisconsin-Madison, says it has a safe, cost-effective, even environmentally friendly solution. They uploaded their idea to planetforward.org. We found that in the field, we can help clean the water they use to drill for oil and gas, recycle it on site without the use of chemicals. Aquamost's big innovation is inside this trailer. It can clean up to 240 gallons of water a minute. Inside those big blue containers, electrically charged titanium plates paired with ultraviolet lights transforms water into a powerful pollution-killing compound called hydroxyl. Even better, it kills corrosive bacteria at the same time. They want to clean up the water that came back from the last frack and use that for the new frack. And what they have to do there is sterilize the water because they don't want to re-inject bacteria down into the well. Hydroxyl is widely used to clean up wastewater, but until now creating it required chemicals such as peroxide. Peroxide is a fairly dangerous chemical that's difficult to transport. Uh, you know, it can cause fires and other things if it's you know, under certain circumstances. So what ours does, and that's the beauty of it, is it generates this with no added chemical feedstocks. Todd Asmuth, CEO of Aquamost, his job, take this scientific breakthrough and create commercial success, starting with these mobile trailers. We're replacing chemicals on the site, killing all the bacteria that cause problems in the well or for the oil and gas production. And, uh, and give them a much better solution but that's chemical free and environmentally friendly. Finding efficient, environmentally safe ways to turn bad water into clean water and move the planet forward. With us now from Washington is Frank Sesno. He is the creator of Planet Forward. So Frank, what do you see as the biggest challenges? What are the areas, the biggest solutions as far as fracking and water go? Well, first thing to know about fracking is that it is a very water-intensive business. Four million gallons or so over the lifetime of a well is going to be required in terms of fresh water. Second thing to know is that in 2005 EPA clean water legislation, fracking natural gas was exempted. So there are no regulations, nationwide federal regulations right now that are driving this kind of activity. It's a little bit spotty. Texas was the first state to require all natural gas frackers to disclose exactly what was in the wastewater that they were producing. So there's not a lot of demand, at least at the federal level, but there's a lot of supply in terms of the water that's being produced. Two quick things, and then it's all yours. One, the Marcella Shell alone, that's the, New, um, among other places, New York, Pennsylvania area, is expected to grow sevenfold in the next 10 years. Wastewater treatment could be a $3 billion business. So this is sort of the front end of the boom. There's also more regulation coming probably will be big business. Frank, we thank you very much, uh, Frank, joining sure. us there. And if you have an idea you would like to submit to Planet Forward, visit planetforward.org. And for more environmental and sustainability news, check out bloomberg.com slash sustainability.